Hello my YouTube family. Welcome to your own YouTube channel, The Barbershop BWP. Today we have another fine tutorial with us. First of all, I need you all people to subscribe my YouTube channel. It will help me a lot. So kindly show some love. Now coming back to the tutorial. Today we are giving him an equal hair length this is my staff mr kim and he wants to grow his hair even longer so he needs his hair to be on of a similar length as we already started the haircut first of all we need to make sections like i'm doing here we need to make four sections initially we need to make back section sides and the crown area take your time no need to hustle time pays off Be easy, be nice, be gentle. Just separate the hair from the sides and the crown area and the back. As you can see right here, you can see three sections of hair. Crown, back and the right. We'll do the same exercise on the left side of the head to separate the hair of crown area from the side hair. I'm going to fast forward it so we can save our time. Our sections are completed now. As you can see now we are starting to cut the hair. For that we need to section the hair on the back side as well. We are taking a layer from center of the hair as you can see center of the back hair we need to separate the remaining hair on the on the sideways as you can see so we can work cleanly and easily and that that hair won't disturb us starting from the top of the hair we take the layer stretch it out and cut the hair which are not equal just cutting a tiny bit of hair we're not cutting a lot of hair because our customer our staff our friend was came needs to grow his hair a lot longer a lot more so we will not cutting his hair short we'll just making them equal all around the sides what we are doing here is now our first guy line is ready We'll follow this guideline to the right side of the head. Then we will do the same on the left side of the head. We will be taking the finger width layer. And we follow the pattern to the right side of the head. And we are doing the same exercise. We'll separate the hair on the both side. So we can pick up the layer easily and cleanly like I'm doing here stretch it out and cut the tiny bit of hair which are not equal I'm not cutting a lot of hairs here please remember and when you are cutting the hair it should be right in front of you like I'm doing here you should be standing on the left side of the client when you are cutting back side of the hair by doing this you, you can see the hair much more clear if you are standing on the back side of the client. Whenever you, you are cutting the hair, hair should be in front of you so, can, so you, you can watch and cut the hair.
following the same guideline we are moving toward the right side of the head and again we took a layer of a finger width here and we will keep keep coming to the right side of the head until we reach the end or the back section technique will remain very much the same we'll pick up the finger with hair stretch them out keep the head of the client straight like i did here if you noticed stretch it out cut the tiny bit of hair here should be right in front of you you are you should be standing on the left side of the client when you are cutting back side of the here cut on the back side of the head just a little bit of hair which are not equal stretch it out as I'm doing the tutorial for the beginners I'm not teaching to the pros they even know better than me so uh, be slow be steady just keep focusing and keep practicing it will help you a lot this is a simple technique to cut long hair when the client want to grow his hair or wants a same length all around the head we need just one guideline which we created on the back side of the head we will keep that guideline all around for this haircut you only need a scissor a comb a shower and a cape shawl that's all you need and you can do a very good haircut at home or wherever you are if you want to practice cutting hair, I suggest you start from the longer hair because they are very easy to handle and you can make some mistakes and correct them. You have some margin to make mistakes with longer hair. For the beginners, I'm saying that because small hair, we don't have a lot of margin to work on. So when you are good with the long hair, you could work on the smaller hair, shorter hair. As you can see now, we are moving step by step on the right side of the head. We are following the same guideline, making the hair length equal. Be slow, be steady. No need to hustle. Take your time, be precise and focus. Slowly and steadily, we'll keep working on the left side of the head. We're almost done here. We just have one section or half on the right side of the head. We'll pick half here, here, and following the guideline we've already created cut the unequal hair Be sure when you are cutting the hair, hair should be right in front of you. You are looking at them while cutting, and we are cutting a not a lot of hair, but just making them equal in length. It's a very basic tutorial for you, and it's recommended if you want to learn the haircut. How to do the haircuts, you start from the longer hair, where you have a lot of margin to work on and learn. Now we 
we finished one side of the back of the head we're taking the last layer following the guideline keep it slow and steady simple stretch out the hair and cut the little bit of hairs but are not equal now we have done to the left now we will keep keep doing that exercise on the left side of the head same technique same procedure be focused and composed i'm going to fast forward it for you Now we have completed the vertical sections of the hair. Now we are doing a shortest test. I mean, now we are doing the second step to be sure that the, the hair are equal. For that, we are taking the horizontal sections of the hair on the second step and making sure if there are any hair which are left unequal. With that we'll take a smaller section from the bottom to back here and keep going up like I'm doing here section by section section should be very thin so we don't cut a lot of hair at the same time no need to worry about the time be focused and composed be steady now if you are focusing on me now I am standing right back side of the client and cutting the hair right in front of me so I can see how much hair needs to be cut when I'm doing vertical section you need to be standing on the right or left of the client when you are taking the horizontal sections it should be in front of you like here Now you can see our second step is completed. Now we are sure that all here are equal. Moving to the side section of the client, we take a smaller layer from the back side of the head and a layer from the side section, back side of 
sat side of the head layer should be working as a guide for us. So we'll follow the back side of the hair guideline all the way on the side section step by step. We'll take a finger width portion from the right side of the hair, follow the guideline and keep moving forward slow and steady. It's very easy when you're doing it. Just be focused and composed. Please like, subscribe and comment. It will help the algorithm to spread it to the more people. It will help us. It will help the people who want to learn. We need it more. So please like, subscribe and share. And help us grow. And don't hesitate to suggest or criticize. We are open for your criticism and suggestions. It will help us getting better and make a better tutorial for you and improvement for us as well. If you noticed, uh, when I cutting right side here, here side section. I'm standing on the back side of the client and here are right in front of me so I can watch how much hair needs to be cut. Take the section, stretch it out, stand on the back side of the client, cut the hair which are not equal, just a tiny bit of hair because we are not cutting a lot of hair but just making them equal for our customer again side section is completed vertical section is completed now we are working on the horizontal sections just to make sure the hair length is equal now I change my position once again now I'm standing on the left side of the customer cutting the hair right in front of me through my fingers I can see how much hair are unequal and those need to be cut be slow be steady take smaller sections and just make sure there is there are no hair left with unequal on the second step we are not we will not be cutting a lot of hair because here are already equal but there are some some here just to make sure the hair are equal now now the back section is completed and the right side section is completed same stacks can be taken on the left side of the head so we will fast forward it for you to save our time Here we go, now we almost completed our haircut, just the top section remains, procedure is almost the same, we'll take a guideline from the back side of the hair which we initially created, created. we'll follow that guideline and keep moving, moving forward to the forehead. My section the hair, now I'm taking the section from the top and a little bit of hair from the back side of the head which we created on, on the start now as you can see back here are smaller and the top here are a lot longer so our purpose was to make hair equal so we we'll follow the guideline and cut them short now our client has here top here a lot longer than the rest of the hair so we are making them equal following their guidelines 
on the basis of the guidance of the hair we pick from the back side of the head we are going forward to the forehead area and cutting them equal now as you can notice we, we are cutting a lot more here on the top side of the head then we cut here on the rest of the sides for the top for the crown area our first guideline is created now we we'll follow this guideline and keep moving forward we will take the small smaller section follow our guideline and keep moving forward we we'll move with the curve of the head from the very top plateau of the hair we are cutting the hair straight and we are going on the edges of the hair we will go on the sideways a little bit so, so that hair length remains equal as I am picking up the hair you can see the guy line is much shorter than the rest of the hair so same process we will keep falling take smaller layer Take your time, be focused and composed, no need to hurry. Patience pays off. A satisfied customer is our, our ultimate goal. So you keep, keep on doing the hard work and want to please our customer by giving him a perfect haircut, what he, what he needs. Like our customer hair needs an equal hair on the on the all around the all around the head. So we we'll make sure no hair left unequal. I'm going to fast forward it for you to save our time because we are doing same exercise all over again. My crown area is completed as well. My haircut is almost completed. Can like, subscribe, and share, and help the algorithm to reach it to more people. This little gesture of yours will help us a lot. Help us grow, help us improve, and help us reach a lot of people. So kindly, again, I'm requesting you to like, subscribe, and share. My haircut is completed. I hope, I hope you liked it liked it please hit the like button we are signing up now a lot of love respect for you people thank you so much for staying that long bye bye cheers